love stories. Mr. Loverboy, back from Greece. From Greece? What was he doing over there? He went off chasing a princess called Irina, with whom he was head over heels in love. But there, he found out she was marrying that rotter Brutus, the son of Caesar. Love Stoic said he'd do anything he could to stop the marriage and blurted out he'd win the Olympic Games to prove his worth. Princess Irina liked the idea, and to give him a chance, she declared, I shall marry the man who wins the Games. But there was itch. Love Storix just learned that only Romans can compete in the Olympic Games. All his hopes were crushed. Poor Love Storix. Oh, boy meets girl stuff. It always gets messy, you know. Couldn't agree more. Hey, enough of broken hearts. How about we go to the forest and pick us a few wild boars? It would be good to pick us five of them for breakfast. Five? That's right. Two for you, and two for me, and one for Dogmatics. Oh, my legs. Dogmatics can't eat a whole boar all by himself. He's too little. Well, all right, then. I'll help him finish it. To get over that tree trunk, try running, followed by a double jump. Look over there! A boar! One down, four more, and we can have lunch. Are you sure we need that many? We only need about half. Uh, uh, uh. A walk in the forest always works up an appetite. We need five fours at least. OK, OK. Whatever your appetite says. I know a great place for boars, you'll see. In fact, boars are just like mushrooms, except you need a bigger basket. Still need three more. Oh, I'm feeling much better. Look up and on the left. Our shield is ready. A shield? Where? All I can see are trees. The shields indicate our life points. You what? Two more and we can have lunch. Oh, hey! I didn't tell you. Last night I had a horrible nightmare. <laughs> yes. I was all having a pretty strange. I was me, but at the same time, I wasn't me. And in the dream, I didn't want to be strong anymore. And I refused to bash Romans. That was a terrible nightmare. Right. And five great balls own Obelix. Oh, there we are. I knew it. What's up? Shush. Listen, every time it's the same. I'm hungry. It must be the forest air. <laughs> Back to the village. man in the world. One. Hop, 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 scram. Out of the way, peasants. Hop, 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 hop. Fast the way. Fastest of all by far. Excuse me, Roman. You really shouldn't go dropping rubbish in the forest. It sure is weird, your Roman obelisk. Like that trail there behind him. It'll scare off the boars, things like that. Oh no, the boars. We forgot the boars. Got up with me, both of them. Easy as pie. Javelin, then. no doubt I'm best at that. Right, back to the village. Time to see Getafix. That Roman, the strange goings on, have a funny feeling. Our druid might have something to say about this. What do you think it is, Asterix? I don't know, Obelix, but it looks dangerous. 
In your dream, you were like that Roman, you said? It was a nightmare, not a dream. I was exactly like that, and I didn't want to bash Romans anymore. Imagine that. Get a fix. What's happened to you? Your I'm what? What's up? You excuse me, dear druid, but it's like you've lost a pound or two. You're as flat as as a papyrus. <laughs> yes, my friends, I'm here to bring you very bad news, but it seems the nightmare has already started. Getafix is a victim of an evil that threatens us all. Sanchifa, please do calm down and tell us everything you know. You're right. I was on a secret mission in Greece and Olympia where the sacred games are imminent, and there I discovered that an evil wizard named Dr. Mabus is plotting to distort reality to fulfill his fiendish goals. He wants to distort reality? That's right, Getafix. I made on-the-spot inquiries. This Dr. Mabus has in his possession the strangest of keys, and with this key he opens up portals to access, sir, uh, parallel worlds. Worlds that look like ours, but are different. Portals? Parallel worlds? Hmm. And is that dangerous, that? It's very dangerous, Asterix. You see, there exists an infinity of worlds beyond our own, and it's never too smart to open the portals connecting together other dimensions. It's generally a recipe for catastrophe and mayhem. You look like the living proof on Papyrus Getafix. Like that Roman we bumped into in the forest. I don't know what that Dr. Mabus is up to, but if he carries on prodding and poking with his dimensional key, the future isn't rosy. You're right, Sam. It's high time to pay a little visit to Mr. Dr. Mabus. Well, I have an idea. We can just say we're competing in the games. What's more, it'll cheer up love stories. Oh, Belix, we already told you that the games are reserved for Greeks and for Romans. You know, Obelix's idea isn't so dumb. Because, no offence meant, technically, since Caesar invaded Gaul, you are Romans. What? Me, Roman? Oh, the other one. It is better, Obelix, to be Gaulish in name than Roman on papyrus. I knew that you wouldn't let me down. You'll see, we'll win these games hands down. Here we come, Olympia! Asterix, tell me, did you find that Getafix was strange this morning? Strange? Uh, no. In what way, strange? I don't know, I found him a little bit flat. Do you think I'm depressing him? <laughs> no, no, don't worry, love story. Sounds it is fine. How strange that it is. No one seems to have noticed for real that you're not actually yourself. It's a good thing, Asterix. Ignorance in this case is bliss. Children, here is Olympia, the jewel of Greek civilization. It's time I made myself scarce. I travel fastest when I'm solo. We'll meet up again later inside the village. Halt, strangers! Visitors are not allowed through this entrance. But we aren't visitors! We are Gallo-Roman athletes, we are. Maybe you need more proof. Uh, in that case, you'll need to obtain accreditation that grants entry to both the Olympic Village and to each of these sporting events. And how do we obtain this accreditation? You'll need to acquire a Gaul Comers Certificate of Gaulishness and you'll need to pass an aptitude test. Where shall we start? With the paperwork or the aptitude tests? Oh, you know me. Well then, let's get the certificates out of the way.
What is it? Um, we've come to get a Gorkhammer certificate. Oh, not today, you haven't. Sorry. The pigeons we use to communicate between sectors have been caged up. Brutus's orders. The network's down, you see. Hey, that's a bit much, isn't it? We've come a long way to take part in these games, and we want our certificate. Open that bird cage And watch them fly away. It'd be so pretty. Listen, it's more than my job's worth to touch the cages, you understand. But now, if someone were to accidentally open them... Uh, by mistake, you know? Well, that would be different. Get my drift. Perfectly. Come on, Obelix. Free me ten pigeons, and I'll take care of your gallcomer certificates. <laughs> hey, I think Dogmatic is on to something. I wonder what this powdery stuff is. Blah! It's not sugar, that's for sure. Even if it is sticky. Hmm, maybe I could use it for climbing. Look lively and bash away to KO your opponents. You can then grab a stunned Roman by the collar. Now... Only six more pigeons and the certificates are out! the Gaulish delegation. Right, we're going to see if you're able to compete in the Olympic Games. A series of little tests await you. In you come, an inspector will explain everything inside. What are the tests for? Oh, you need to have the right profile. But I've got one, and a left profile. But maybe they can't see it. Hey, that's funny. It looks smaller from the outside. Get ready, Gauls. In every room, there's a test. I'm monitoring you from above, and I'll tell you exactly what you have to do. The principle is easy. Complete all the tests, and you'll be considered apt. Good luck. You may leave the aptitude test, but if you quit a test in the middle, you'll have to start everything all over again. In this room, the aim is simple. You have to clear yourselves a path to the door opposite. Let's see if you have the strength. Hear that, Obelix? The man wants to know about our strength. And poor little me still has not had breakfast yet. Oh well, let's see. One of you has to get into the cable car, and the other has to pull the rope, and lead the cable car to the end of the line. But beware, if you tug too hard, or move too abruptly, you might break the machine. You have to show some finesse. You heard that, Obelix? Finesse. What? I haven't started yet.
Look, just don't let me go, okay? I reckon you could keep hold of the rope and jump. And if the Romans show up, bash them. Uh, try not to let go of the rope. To open the door to this room, you must activate the three slabs all at once. Let's see if you have your wits about you, Gauls. So, do I have the right profile now, hmm? Yes, um, everything seems alright to me. I passed on the results to the organizers. All you need is your Gallcomer's certificate to obtain accreditation. Go and see my colleague at the office. Just a small formality, and we'll have our accreditation. I'll wait here for you. There's a bit of a breeze, and I wouldn't want Getafix to blow away. 